<clears throat> I'm gonna go over uh, how to maximize your chances of landing a cross. Uh, a lot of times when you learn how to throw the cross, you usually stand in the same spot, especially like if you're hitting it on a heavy bag. Most times people stand in the same spot, throw their jab, and then they just turn and throw their cross. But this doesn't really translate well into sparring because as soon as you throw the jab, the person's gonna end up backing up or moving out the way. So if you miss with your jab, you're gonna miss with your cross. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn your shoulders over when you throw your cross so you get more extension as opposed to just throwing it from here. And you wanna step with your cross. So let's say I throw my jab. As soon as I throw my jab, he's gonna back up. If I throw my cross from here, I'm not gonna reach. But if I throw my jab and he backs up and I throw my and I take a step on my cross, then I'm more likely to land it. You want to step with it, and as your foot lands, the punch comes out. So I throw my jab, I step on my cross, it's gonna land. Let me see you do it. Throw the jab, step with the cross, it's gonna land. That foot should be planted as your cross comes out and lands. So it's gonna go step, step. Whatever distance you step with the front foot, you're gonna step about the same distance with the back foot. So step, and step. That little tip will definitely uh, increase your chances of landing that cross.